Hey everybody, the Bond gets back. Welcome to part 27 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. Remember, before we go and deploy, I am taking a look at our units, and I am disappointed that Dimitri cannot join us. Because he would have been great to have. But I do notice that because the Death Knight is a cavalry unit, what if I had Ingrid use Knight Kneeler, which is a combat art that excels against cavalry units? I think that will actually do the trick. So for now, why don't we go to our inventory. And you know what? I think it's a good time for Byleth to use that pomegranate. Trade the Iron Axe for it, I suppose. And use it up. Greater crit chance now. Also, I'm taking a look to see what else we have for equipment. A Blue Lion Brooch. I took a look at it, but I didn't even know that was something you could equip. A simple brooch honoring the blue lions. Okay, that's just for your charm. Making it better for your battalions and stuff. Talisman shield is pretty heavy. Does only offer one protection, two resistance. Honestly, I thought about giving it to do, to do but I realized it would not benefit him in any way. So I think we're good with what we have. We don't need to reclass or anything, that would be stupid. What I will decide to do... I'm gonna put... The do over here. Let's... Have a man the east side. Wait. What do you mean he can't do that? Yes I can, okay. I was wondering what was going on. So I'm gonna have him take this side. Hold on, does this guy have a chest key? No. Because there is a chest over here, I might want to use Ash. Okay, it becomes a warp floor, the device is activated. Which is good and all, but where do you go to activate it? I don't even see the lever there. I guess we'll have to deal with that as we go. Alright, let's begin the battle. That knight looks like death itself. We must rescue Flane immediately. I agree. There's something strange about the flooring at the end of the corridor. Something might happen if you step there. Alright, let's test it out. What should I do? Oh, I can move again? With the remaining movement spaces? Okay, that works for me. Okay, door key. Well, I guess we can use Ash to unlock all these doors. I wonder what, where this warp takes you. Guess we'll find out eventually. Ready. For now, let's have Ingrid ready Stay too. Stay focused. Okay, Violet goes for an attack. It will go more than fine. Although his Iron Sword is definitely going to get destroyed soon. What if I just start using the steel sword for a while? I wonder where, where the Flame Empire even is. So I'm seeing like Flame Empire Army, whatever that represents, and I don't even know what it does. I'll go. Okay, I think I want Felix to go with the do. Can you wait over here? Uh, let's see. Maybe have the other group move forward. Can I get Ash over there? I'll give it my all. I think that'd be good because, well, then again, we can't even get in there. All right, so pull him back. That may not be the best idea. Here we go. Set as you go back there. 
Ingrid will probably have to handle a couple attacks. Super grateful. Which I know she will. I'm on it. Yeah, let's just try that. Ash is still safe if he goes here. Here goes. That's what I'm looking for. Thanks. In all this. Leave it to me. I don't even have a magic unit over there. Oh, I have to wait because Felix is blocking it. Alright, you go with them. Aye, aye. Anna has yet to move. Uh, do I want the attacks to be drawn to her? Um... Let's think about this. Could grab this. Oh, okay, that's a bad idea. Lure one at a time. We don't want to be too slow, because remember, if we run out of time, we lose. As expected. Oh, a door key. Thanks. Wow, 39% chance to hit and connect it. Good for you. Oh my god, Violet is just destroying this you entire squadron by himself. Huh, that's one way to avoid getting destroyed. Alright, come at me. You can't do squat. And survived on 1 HP. Mastered skills for this fighter, nice. Well. So I got strength plus 2 and shoved. Now he just has to, ma to go get that equipped. Ingrid, you want to do this? Probably no. Here, grab that. Durability went up. Good stuff. Sylvain will get a buff just by being right next to Ingrid. It's not going to be good enough to get the kill. But I won't get hit, so let's do it. Well, he always wanted to go after a girl's heart one way or another. <laughs> I don't think that's what he had in mind. Good one, Ash. That was tough. Level up. Is this a joke? It's not a funny one. <laughs> that's a bad level up. Wait, Felix, can you kill? I mean, you only do 10 damage. And you only need to inflict one HP, so go for it. You're weak. Yeah, I do find it very weird that I'm still using iron swords. But at this point, why would I need to push myself too hard? When it's not even necessary. You know what? I want Lysithia to go with them. Oh yeah, you still need to finish your turn. Go do that. Okay, does anybody else have any movements? Or is Anna just like SOL JWF? Much appreciated. Well, not that it matters. <laughs> I mean, Violet's gonna kill him anyway. Sure. <laughs> I'll have to get this Iron Sword Plus repair Each soon. battle, a chance to grow. Oh, Vulnerary, thanks. Um, sure. It's not like we'll be attacked over here. They're not gonna do anything. 
All right, so we gotta find out where this warp even goes. Oh, we're gonna get attacked over here? Hang on, what is your attack power? Only 15? And it's just an iron bow. I mean, is that really gonna bother to do that much? It's gonna get a defense upgrade anyway. I think I want Lysithia over there just for the magic damage. So I say she can shoot her spells over this wall too. Yeah, see, zero damage. Didn't even matter to go that way. Okay, now I need to start pushing on the left side. That would be the best thing to do at this point in time. Man, Dimitri would have been really good for this, and I mean that too. Thank you. I'm thinking if we're gonna be fighting the Death Knight, Ingrid would be the best one because she has Night Healer. But also, if I can do this, oh wow, I would get a 40% avoid buff. Why would I not do this? I'll just wait over here and let them do their thing. Some kind of contraption has been activated. And? Yeah. Okay, so the magic will still somehow hit. Damn, I missed a single time. What the hell? Okay, at least this guy's gonna get killed. As expected. Alright, his class mastery should be at, at completion pretty soon. Oh wow, after all that, that's the first crit. I thought we were gonna get way more than that. Good job, gang. Oh, not assist. How many times can I use this? Two more times? I think using it over here is good. You can't lose. Now I can start pushing the gang forward faster. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because I want her to get some kills too. This will not kill? Really? Maybe she uses Onslaught. Could also use Tempest Lance. But I think I'm gonna avoid using a combat art. Actually, I'm better off just doing this. Only 83% chance of hitting. And I miss. Okay, but at least I hit on the second. As expected. Did I select that one? I meant to select the other one. Oh, you know what? It's not gonna matter, because Ingrid can still get this one. And we'll get some assistance. This will kill if I do this. I'm here to help. Yeah! Get him! That's how it's done. Okay, that's a good level up. Anytime you can get strength and luck is definitely a win. Oh, maybe I should keep the door key just so I can use it. Sure, we'll just do that. And now look at all this movement we can get. Yeah, is there a better way to look at the map? I mean, there's warps. Where's the lever to? I don't see what the lever looks like. 
that would open that. Or maybe there's a button? That ain't it. Okay, I guess we'll just keep going forward. I don't see anything else here that we can use. Just a bunch of pillars, avoidance floors, rubble. Nothing we can find valuable. So helpful. Who hasn't moved yet? Oh, you haven't moved. You just keep waiting there. Oh, that will draw attacks to Lysithia. I want to move, like, only a little bit. So that only to do will be attacked. Weak. Alright, constantly just moving his way makes it a little bit more annoying to pick off that archer. There, we used up the door key. Good. That will simplify things just a little bit. <laughs> oh man, I'll, I'll get attacked here? I mean, I can hit this guy. The dead eye. I can use the mini bow. Okay, I guess I'm not using those. Six, nine, six, four. Not a high crit chance either. What if I move over here? I'm probably not gonna get hit. Oh, but I can get this one. I'll be in my odds are extremely low. I'll take a chance. Damn. Couldn't catch a break with that one. Oh, wait a minute. There's another warp over here. Where does this one take you? Why don't we go find out? What is this device? It appears operational. Uh oh. I don't so like that come. one. I'll make sure you never leave. There was an ambush. Okay, I got Let me move it back to You know what? Why don't we undo this one? Yeah, we'll make it up to, like, when Ash took a turn. So if the warp takes you that way where a lever is, I'm better off sending a stronger unit that can take it. I'm on it. But definitely not alone. Aye, aye. That would be a death wish. Leave it to me. You still can't attack over there. Shit. What should I do? What if I go this way? I'll go. I really want to get that uh, archer somehow without, you know, getting hurt. <laughs> I can avoid it. Here we go. Here goes. Are right, you guys are really behind? Oh, looks like those are gonna move. Huh. Now let me see if I can get Lysithia in there to hit him. Let's see them handle we're this. golden. Thank god, that was a miss. That could have been problematic either way. Right, if I am gonna take someone, I can't really just take 
just take one person. I'll give it my all. Can you get this one? You can. You'll get hurt, but at least you'll kill him. Do it. It's only three damage. I can't handle that. The fight continues. And we got another door key. Well, you don't need them. You open stuff anyway. Does Ash need healing? Probably not much. But how much would that do? Three. Zero. Okay, he's gonna be fine. He's only gonna take, what, three damage. I think we can handle three damage. Ready. If we can't, then we're hopeless. That's, that's not gonna do a thing. Stay focused. What about you? What are you gonna do? Oh, you'll kill. All right. Let the lesson begin. Oh, you'll definitely you kill. Give it your all. Chest key. Uh, okay, well, let's take that off you. You're not going to use the chest key. Do you know what not does not have a throwing weapon? Okay, you can attack. Oh, but that's going to hurt you a lot. Unless... I use Swarm Zed. But I got to hit both times. Oh, a fire will work, too. And that's guaranteed to hit. Yeah. Now miss. Oh. Oh, well. You underestimated me. Still a win for us. So now we can probably use the other warp. And not have to worry. Now what do? Do I send Sylvain by himself? Because it's not like I can see the enemies here until I get over there myself. How many movement spaces does he have? He has plenty. What is this device? It appears operational. All right, wait for the ambush. Here they come. So you have come. I'll make sure you never leave. And then I'll go right on the cover tile. That is a big brain play, Bonga. There you go, that's how you do it. So much for using Anna as a backup. Don't think that's gonna work in our favor. You have a javelin? You still have a javelin. Sure, go for it. I knew that was gonna hit, but I don't care. Just try to soften them up a little bit. I wonder how many turns that has been so far. I think we're almost at turn 10. Oh, he set himself up for disaster. That's how it goes. That's why you pay attention to the numbers, man. Oh, he's only gonna do a might of one? Oh, Sylvain got this ambush just fine. Why couldn't you crit the first time? I think that would have been better for you if you did it the first Whoops. time. Nope. Okay, as long as you stay on the defense towel, you're all gold. Easy. 
good. I should have paid attention to that defense tile being right there. Then again, if I did finish my turn as Anna, I don't think I had another movement turn, did I? I must steal myself. So I think this was the better play. I gotta get into the habit of using my divine pulses if I feel it's a terrible, terrible go. What is that, a heal tile? That is a heal tile. Okay, Death Knight still has minions, so... I won't have to... Oh, it's only turn 7. So I won't have to worry about finishing the fight too early. Yeah, just finish this guy off. That one is expected. There. And then next turn, once we defeat this jabroni, we can pull the lever. I hope that'll help us out more. Okay, we're not gonna get attacked if we go this way. Alright. Yeah, does she have a vulnerary on her? You know what? Use it. You're not originally on our squad anyway. So I have no qualms using any of her items. Can I attack you from here? I can. So I will. I can't lose. Oh! Unnecessary crit! And yet, I'm happy for it. Ugh, rusted Axe... Really? Thanks, I, I guess. What can you do? Not a lot! Wait, who has a door key? You have a door key, alright. I think this will be a little bit better. Wait, no, 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 no. Disturbance. No onslaught. I only have one use left. Let's turn the tables. And that's what you use it for. a big brain play once in a while. Too bad it's only once in a while. With emphasis on the once. <laughs> nice try. Oh, right in the hip. You're gonna need a new one now. <laughs> so obvious. Okay, so either I pull the lever or I just try to finish that guy off. Either way, I can't be in the wrong. Yeah, we'll just pull the lever now. And it activates even more warp floors. Now, the issue is... Do I want to go this way? It sends me over here. Alright, we're gonna have to send the gang over. Who among us has a door key? The only one of us that would have been able to open this door would be Ash. And he's all the way back there. Well, that's a little suboptimal. Yeah, you wanna get this one? You only have a 64% chance, you got this! You only had to hit it one time. See ya. All that for a rusted sword. Now where does this warp take us? Oh, it takes us over here where Sylvain is! Yeah, go over here on the uh, cover tile. Who hasn't moved yet? Oh, you. You haven't moved? Oh 
man, that means I have to remember where all the warps take you. I know this one takes you here. So I think I'll bring Ash that way, because we can open a door. We can open all these doors. Then we gotta find out what warp takes you over here to that chest. It could be any of these. There's another warp over here. It's only turn 8. So we got plenty of time. I guess we can send by that charging in. Put on the avoidance floor. Let's we want to make this. sure that we still have at least one guy alive to go after the death knight. I don't want to miss that chance. Wow, even with defense plus two, Ingrid takes one damage. Well, don't you feel lucky, huh? Too bad you're about to get slaughtered anyway. Yeah, maybe I should put Ash over on that warp. That means he can start opening doors. I think that would be the best thing to do. Ah, uh, okay. Does anybody need healing? Anna does. Yeah, super grateful. Oh yeah, level twelve. Okay, that's a solid level up. Get much use out of that. <laughs> I like the long wind up that just to that. tomahawk on their heads. There's just something about it that's so satisfying. It really is. You got this, Ingrid. If anyone can handle it, it's her. Now I need Sylvain to deal with this mess. None of these are gonna kill, unless... I guess we can just use the Tempest Lance. I haven't used that in a long time. Be gone. Good one. Just as I expected. Again, we'll just put him by the door. Okay, you start warping. You cannot attack. You will get attacked. So if that's gonna happen, I might as well just put you close enough. Too bad I can't just use the bow here. Well, if you get attacked, I mean, you're not gonna die. So, you know, the bare minimum. It was not moved. Is it Felix? It is Felix. I can't draw the attack to him instead. Damn it. Watch and learn. Would have liked to have been able to try to do that. <laughs> oh man, have you been able to dodge anything, Lysithia? Seriously? Like, for real? Anything at all? I don't think she has. <laughs> That's kind of lame balls. <laughs> I'm not worried about that one. Should I help two that? damage? Only two? No big deal. Okay, let's bring Ash over there for backup. Okay, you can only rally. Now 
Now what, dude? Can I just get an attack in? Use Deadeye. If this hits, it'll kill. Oh good, that actually spared my Scythia more damage. Like, why? You don't need the door key. Anybody can use it but you, Ash. You don't need it. I mean, it's a thought that counts. Thank you. Just not the end result. Okay, we all golden? Okay, if we're gonna take on Death Knight, we have to go this way. Yeesh. And I know they're not gonna open the door. They a bunch of cowards. This couldn't get rough. You'll be fine, just use this. Somebody still hasn't moved. Who would that be? Oh, it's you! Too bad I can't use them to, like, attack a wall or a door. That would be very convenient. Rusty gauntlets, not convenient. Oh. Um, thinking this warp will take you to either that one or this one. But there's another lever over there. Interesting. If I open these doors, I can bring them over here. Okay, Ingrid's gonna have to take care of the lever. So I know we're... That warp takes us. What about this one? Takes us here. Does he have a chest key? No. Guess I'll have to hold him back over here for now. Because he can't do squat. I think it was that one that I used, right? Hope I didn't forget right away. Alright, end our turn. Okay, you're almost at the lever. Good stuff. So none of us need to go that way. Yet. Okay, there's another enemy over there. So let's get ready for it. Where did I put Ash to? Oh, yeah. He can get this door opened and slowly get the rest of us over here. Guess I'll just use Annette for extra rallies. Much Just because. Okay, maybe not there. Over here is fine. Anna wants you forward, too. This is turn 12. You know what? I should have put Sylvain back. He's not gonna hang out this way. Yeah, what was what was I thinking? Look, this is pretty much just the slowest way to do things, but it works. Some of the special tiles have been deactivated. Oh! Huh. There was no special tiles over where they were to anyway. So it means squat. Is that just a healer? I think that's just a healer. No, it, it'll attack. Alright, kill it. Got him. Each battle, a chance to grow. Still need to get the rest of the gang over, and we haven't been able to do that.
But nobody else is here to attack us, so we're all good. The only enemies remaining are in where Death Knight is. He still has a formidable force, like, right there protecting him. So we only got a few turns left to, to get this done. Remember, it has to be 25 turns. Okay, there we go. The door is open. Now we can get this gang over here. About damn time. So I'm thinking this warp will take you to that chest. If I were to, you know, wager a guess. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh, a regular iron sword. No, put the training gauntlets back. You can still use that. Thanks. And I should consider healing. Well done. Alright, mastered skills for monk. Magic plus two, and drawback. Isn't drawback a wrestler? No way, that's drawback. Wait, what? <laughs> Training gauntlets. It's not like we have a door key over here. Although we could draw some attacks. Why would I? I know this seems like a boring way to do things, but it is a way. It doesn't have to be the right way, it just has to be a way. Okay, so now I gotta bring Ash over there as soon as possible. Which one did Sylvain step on first? Was it the one on the northeast? I think so. Yeah, I think it was that one. Alright, let's test it out. Yep, you do go to that chest next. Alright then. Go that way. And that gets some more rally points on Violet. Thank you. Does anybody else need healing? I... No, I think we're good. Wait, if we take too long, we're gonna run out of time. And we gave up all the door keys, didn't we? So maybe I should just bring Ash over there now and treasure chest be damned. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to forfeit our plan just to open up treasure chests. And just go straight for the guy. We're only afforded so much time. I'm slowly seeing the folly in our plan. I really am. <laughs> uh, let's just warp on back. Much needed. Man, I wish I had more time to get those those chests. And you know what? I am really paying the price for not keeping them. But you know, live and learn, I suppose. Nine turns left. So I just gotta get Ash to. Oh, damn it. I gotta get Ash to a door immediately. Thank you. So we can finally get the damn thing opened. 
Sadly, you can't reach these guys from here. I would have done that if I could. But that's just not an option at this time. You know what? I'll just have to convince myself that what's in those chests is not that important. Okay, eight turns to go. I'll put Violet over that way so Ingrid can go here. So I think she's going to be pivotal, pivotal hey. to this plan. If this works, of course. Yes, you're amazing. Even if she does attack Death Knight, will that be enough to even kill? That's the real question. I don't even know if she can. But she's my best chance. In fact, she might be my only chance. So okay, I say... Yep, Ash can get over there. Okay, now we got him in position. To finally make things happen. Thank you. This is gonna suck if I actually don't make it. Like it really will. Much but This is crazy. In case this doesn't work. Actually, I'll bring Mercedes a little farther back. I'll just hit Ash with the Gambit. This is so stupid, and I can't believe this is working. Yeah, I think it only works if I do this. There. Now Ash can start moving faster. Oh, but he can still attack this one. Why wouldn't I do that? One less foe for us. Okay, don't do that. No, really, don't do that. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, I got an idea. Can't put Ingrid over there. She could probably use the javelin. Right? End the turn, I suppose. Open the door. Let the gates of hell open up for us. I don't want Violet to kill all these guys, though. If I go this way, the mages will just try to hold back. So that might end up being the best play. Sure. Should I have held back? Because I do want to go after Death Knight if I can. Oh, I got Mercenary Mastered. Vantage! I'll have to take a look at that later on. Uh, Rally. Much more. And I can put a net over here too. Okay, so here's gonna be the plan. You saved me. If I'm gonna use Ingrid to possibly kill Death Knight, if it's possible, only if it's possible, having a net there for rallying is going to be pivotal.
Do I want Anna to take the bait on these attacks? I'm gonna say no. I still can't get over how dumb this is. Like, if this works, I'll be shocked. Because we have so little time. Okay, this guarantees that I'll still have enemies left to fight. Alright, so first things first. Rally Ingrid. You're amazing. I could probably use Violet to attack first. This will hurt a lot. But how much will it hurt by... Honestly, not that bad. Somehow I'll have a greater chance of killing him if I whittle him down with the Steel Sword Plus. I don't want to use Sword of Creator, though. Maybe I don't have to use Ingrid. Now you will die together. Oh, joy. All right, we're going for it. Okay, Byleth did not kill. Ingrid. No, not, not the Javelin. Use a Lance. And this will guarantee a kill. So I guess it doesn't matter what I do. Either way, I'm hitting, and he's gonna die. I have no need of you. <laughs> Level up! <laughs> hmm, Ugh, that was terrible. Kill them. Halt, you're having a bit too much fun. You are getting in the way of my game. Huh. You'll have more opportunities to play soon. Your work here is done. Understood. I will go. We will cross paths again. I am the Flame Emperor. It is I who will reforge the world. Flame Emperor and the Death Knight? I have to say, they both looked very dangerous. Where did they go? It doesn't matter. We need to get these two out of here. Bring them up. That took way more turns than it should have, all because of my chess key mismanagement, too. But either way, a win is a win. So I will take that any day. Missing items be damned. Thank goodness. Those girls are pale as ghosts, but at least they're alive. But that Death Knight person feels so familiar. You found Flame? Oh, thank goodness. She was unconscious at the end of that secret passage. We found the culprit too, but he got away. We almost had him. I'm just grateful that everyone is safe. That's what matters most. I'd like to hear what transpired, but first, we need to get these ladies to the infirmary. Understood. We'll go at once. <sighs> I'm... I'm sorry, Professor. I'm so relieved I suddenly felt weak. I couldn't be happier with how things turned out. And I imagine no one will be more overjoyed than Seteth. Hmm? Hey, Professor. Can you make that expression one more time? Hmm... Like this? I don't think I've ever seen your face like that. <laughs> I apologize. I've forgotten myself and come dangerously close to teasing you. It's just... I've never seen you look so happy before. 
It's downright mesmerizing. Ah, but this isn't a time for idle chit-chat. We must hurry and share the good news with Seteth. Professor, please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flane is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. I'm just happy she's safe. Yes, indeed. I... I too am overjoyed. But well, why was Flane taken to begin with? Her kidnapper was the masked knight who vanished during the Rite of Rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flane's blood. The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare. And extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flane's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. Flane, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery, where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... You know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? That is a great idea. You think so too? I am so very pleased to hear that. With a professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? Can I entrust you with Flane's safety? It would be my pleasure. I am so glad that Flane is safe. Yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. She wore the uniform of the Academy. But who is she? She kind of looks like you. Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Uh, is Monica a student here? Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her at the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Anbar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. Will you come to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? 
Sorry, but I've got my own mission, and it's far from Grander Field. The Church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Not that it's likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf, I'm going to leave something for you. I promise. Don't just nod solemnly. There's nothing to worry about. I'm just being cautious. Then again, I guess you're always solemn. <laughs> I think I get that from mom. Not so much from you. Alright, so let's uh, get beginning with chapter 7. Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fotland's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. I've always liked the uh, artwork of the opening parts of chapters. It kind of reminds me of stained glass windows, or at least those storybooks in the Middle Ages. Kind of like that. Alright, so at least this was a previous chapter we managed to keep Lysithia alive for a battle. <laughs> Ooh, 5,000 bucks. Thank you so much. I think I should get a bonus for rescuing Seth's sister. You're curious to know what Mercedes is doing. Go for a visit? Yeah. You there, youngster. Won't you listen to this old man's troubles? I was born and raised right here in this town. I spent my whole life here. My daughter lives in the Empire, and she sent me a letter to ask if I was keeping up with my daily worship. And are you? Well, hello there, Professor. Is this a friend of yours? I don't know. Uh, is that so? I was sure you two knew each other. Is there something we can do for you, good sir? Oh, what a lovely young lady. I was just telling this kind soul a story. Really? What's troubling you? Well, I was thinking of going to daily prayer, but my leg's been acting up and I can't walk properly. How terrible. That's no good at all. May I be of assistance? I'd be happy to lend a shoulder and escort you to the chapel. Would you? Oh, I'd be most grateful to you. Thank the goddess for sending this young lady to me today. We'll need your help too, Professor. Here, sir, take my arm. Splendid work, Professor. He really seemed to appreciate our assistance. We did a good deed. Putting a smile on someone's face always seems to brighten up the day. Is something wrong? You're giving me a strange look. How did you know something was bothering him? Oh, mm, how should I put this? I suppose it's just second nature to me. What do you mean? It's difficult to describe, but I can usually tell when someone is worried about something. Back there, I could tell that both you and the old man were in distress. I spent a good amount of my life living in the church. Maybe that's why I'm so good at identifying these things? Living in the church? Did I not mention that before? I spent nearly ten years of my life in the church of Fargus. Many came to us with their troubles. In my own time of need, I once ran to the church myself, and they helped me. May I share something with you, Professor? 
It's about a dream of mine. What is your dream? I'd like to work in the church one day. I want to be like the priest who helped me. Never mind. It's not a very realistic dream. Please forget I said anything. If I were someone else, perhaps a commoner without a crest or stature, maybe things would be different. It's a bit sad, but this is the way things have to be. After all, only the goddess can decide our fates. Uh, don't be too discouraged. I'm sure you can always put in a resume. Oh, wow, there's a lot of things happening. Oh, my God, who else wants to visit me? Dimitri? Sure. Thank you for your help the other day, Professor. Please, allow me to express my gratitude by taking you to dinner. I would be delighted. Fantastic. But please think about what you'd like to eat. After all, such magnificent guidance must work up quite an appetite. I've studied swordsmanship for some time, but your mercenary skills are something else entirely. Speaking of which, there's another question I must ask you. Were you reconciled with the reality of battle from your first foray? With the killing part, I mean? Uh, no, it's never easy. I see. And you? No. I do not carry that burden well. I doubt that will change, no matter how many years come and go. The first time I led on the battlefield, I was sent to quell a rebellion in the West. It was not a difficult fight. The enemy was not well trained and their morale was low. A swing of the lance and your opponent falls. A flash of your blade and a path opens up. That's the sort of battle it was. Easy, right? You did what you had to do. That's one way to look at it. The leader of the rebel army was defeated, and the rebellion quelled. This was at the height of the post-war period. I recall coming across a dead soldier's body. He was clutching a locket, and inside was a lock of golden hair. I don't know to whom it belonged. His wife? His daughter? Mother? Lover? I'll never know. He was a soldier. An enemy. Someone we had cut down without hesitation. But in that moment, I realized he was also a real person, just like the rest of us. Of course, we cannot stand idly by and allow anyone to commit senseless acts of violence. Yet, in dispensing what we call justice, we take the lives of cherished family members, beloved friends. Killing is part of the job, but even so, there are times when I'm chilled to the bone by the depravity of my own actions. I felt the same way. That you feel the same way is more comforting than you could know. Professor, may I speak freely? When we first met, I thought of you as someone who felt no strong feelings about killing your enemies. I could never trust someone who kills without batting an eye. My heart won't allow it. But after speaking with you and getting to know you better, I can see you're not like that. Now I know with all my heart that I can trust you. Thank you for that. You're welcome. I almost forgot we were going to dinner. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh! Oh, it's not a support conversation. The battle of the eagle and lion is finally upon us. This is our chance to show off the results of your expert training, Professor. Battle the eagle and lion? Have Lady Rhea and Seteth really not filled you in? Well, if that's the case, I'm happy to explain. The battle of the eagle and lion takes place every year during the Wyvern Moon. It can be best described as a mock battle between the three houses. Much like the one we had during the Great Tree Moon. Do you remember, Professor? Yes, I remember. This battle will take place in Empire territory, at Grander Field. In other words, far removed from the monastery. It's a mock battle between the three houses. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. Your Highness, if the rumors are true, 
I believe Professor Manuela and Professor Hanneman will not be joining us. Ah, yes, right you are. Given recent events, Professor Manuela has opted to sit this one out. Since she won't be present, Professor Hanneman has decided to skip this year as well. What should I do? Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. Professor Manuela, are you feeling better already? Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. In that case, perhaps it is best that you sit this one out. Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. If I'm the only professor present... We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. Well, it turns out what I said actually lowered my uh, happiness with Manuela. I didn't know you could do that. I thought it could only go up. Well, now I learned something new today. It can actually go down. All right, so let's take a look at the calendar, shall we? Wait a minute, are there two different paralogs? Sylvain is unable to stand idly by when he learns that the band of thieves once held, led by his brother Miklan are again causing trouble in Margrave Gauthier's territory. And this one's for Ingrid. Wow, I didn't know I unlocked two paralogs. Anyway, I think it's a great time to save. Also, I realize we have over 20,000 gold. So in the next episode, we'll uh, get some work done. See everyone, thanks for watching.